just wanted to give you all a little update about the whole situation from the previous video where I said I needed your help with a false copyright strike. You all did it. You all watched the video, shared the video, left a like on the video, basically got as many eyes on the video as possible, which in turn got YouTube to reply to us pretty damn fast. I was actually surprised how fast YouTube replied, even though I've already contacted YouTube because I have a contact that is from YouTube that directly talks to people who work at YouTube. And I even gave them all the evidence and still it was kind of just like no answer and they remain neutral on the whole thing. So I said, you know what, if I can help David and if I can help all the people that got a strike, including myself, I know the audience has my back and you all never disappoint. You've never disappointed me once in 10 years of doing this and you still haven't. So thank you all so much for all the support. And I just wanna give a little background to the whole thing, like what was going through my mind during the whole thing. So I got the strike on July 3rd, 2024. Had no idea what Paradise Hell even was, like I mentioned in the other video. So I started doing some research and I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, this doesn't even make any sense. I don't even think this is their video. So I emailed David, actually, like I said, I texted Corey and then Corey mentioned that he asked David specifically for permission. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go to David directly. But the thing about that is David actually left the internet for a while. Um, I mean, I don't know if he like left it, left it permanently. I don't know if he like made posts or anything, but I guess he decided he wanted to take some time off the internet. So I thought that it was gonna be hard to get into contact with David, but I took a chance. I left a comment on his video and I said, hey man, I need to talk to you. Is there any way I can email you? He said that his email is on his website. And we started talking like shortly after I got my strike. And he told me that he provided so much evidence. Usually, you know, if you have all the evidence, you should be able to handle it right there and then. But I mentioned in the other video, and I'll mention it again, that YouTube remained neutral on this, which is pretty insane. So I emailed David and I said that, hey man, I'm gonna do whatever I can. I just need to make sure that this is your work. Like I even asked him, I felt bad for asking him, but I was like, like this is your work 100% because if it is, I'm gonna make sure I do whatever I can to get this back and he's like, yeah, it is mine. And I was like, all right, say less. Let me email some people, let me do some research, let me figure out like how this even happened and how we can establish once and for all that this person did not create this video in 2016 like he tried to put on IMDB and on his Facebook and it was actually 2023 or later, or even 2020 or later, because David Romero's animation was from 2019. So I just had to prove that the animation was from a later day than when David uploaded his, which was in 2019. So what I did was I just looked through his biography on IMDb, and it said that he premiered the film, the Paradise Hell film, at Monstra in Lisbon, Portugal, and I was like, wait, you premiered something that you made in 2016? So how did that happen? That's so many years later. So what I did was I went on the Monster website and I just clicked on contact and then I emailed one of the emails. I think they had like three or four emails. Like I said, the guy Inez Barroso, he emailed me right back and he was like, I've never heard of this paradise hell. These are all the winners from 2023 and there is nobody by that name or that film name that entered their animation in the 2023 Monster Film Festival. And as soon as I got that reply back, I knew that everything else was gonna be BS. I just had to find that evidence. But the IMDB page kept saying 2016, February 21st, 2016. And David even sent me a screenshot of it saying 2023. He said, I screenshotted this before he changed the dates. But I was like, yeah, I just gotta prove that he changed it. Because I could be like, oh, he changed it. But that doesn't mean it's a fact. I'm just kind of pointing the finger at it. So what I did, um, there was a longtime supporter. Her name is Melanie. Shout out to you, Melanie, by the way. She sent me the website that was kind of like the Wayback Machine, which is called Playboard. So what I did was I entered his name and then I put blank blank's YouTube channel and then it popped up on Google. So I clicked it and then it linked me to Image E Nation. It said no content. So I copied the URL, I put it in Playboard and then all his videos popped up and I was like, fucking got him, bro. 
We got him. If I can prove that the Paradise Hell animation was uploaded onto this channel at a later date than 2019, that is going to be so awesome. And not only did we prove it was at a later date, it wasn't even that far down from scrolling. It was May 17, 2023, and I was just like, fuck yeah, dude. So, you know, I screenshotted that. I recorded it on my um, recording software, and the mountains of evidence were just building up, and I was like, let's freaking go. Let's freaking do this. And then David sent me all the work in progress that he had, and even the copy of the title of the copyright. And it said entire motion picture besides the soundtrack, I believe. And the soundtrack was created by Mew or M-Y-U-U. -U. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. You even have that and you have all the work in progress, animations and pictures and YouTube still said they needed more. So what do we do when YouTube doesn't act fast enough? We get the support of the people that create this platform and make it bigger, which is you all. So I told David that I'm gonna make a video and this happened and you all made this happen because I could make the video, but if nobody watches it, leaves a like on it, which spreads like the, the ability for the video to get seen by more people, which is weird, right? Like it gets recommended to more people, the more you comment and the more you like it and the more you watch it. So it's like a weird combination of all those things. So thank you all so much for making that happen because not even 24 hours after that video was posted with all that evidence and everybody just spreading the video around and adding YouTube, David's animation got put back up and he personally thanked me. And I know this is gonna sound kind of corny, but I kind of got like, like, you know, that, that feeling when you, when you feel like you're gonna tear up. I felt like I did something good for somebody because I just create content. I just make videos. I just try to make people laugh. I never try to be serious, but I told David that I was gonna try to do everything I can. And the only thing that I know how to do is try to do some research and try to get the facts. And I told him that like a week ago. So the fact that it took me this long, I didn't want him to think that I wasn't doing anything. I just wanted to make sure I had all the facts right. He actually already had so much evidence to begin with that it was crazy that YouTube didn't take down the false copyright strike and put his video up as soon as he sent that information. But yeah, anyway, I'm getting too off topic. The video went back up on David's channel and when he personally thanked me, that meant a lot to me because I know how stressed out he was that his hard work, his animation that he worked on for a very long time was falsely taken down by somebody claiming it as AI and it was their AI animation and it was the world's first AI animated film which is still funny to me. I actually thought that was funny when I saw that because it was so ridiculous. But yeah, when he thanked me, it made me feel so fortunate that I have you all to support me because like I said, I could have uploaded that video, but if nobody saw it, if it didn't get recommended, if the word didn't get spread about the false copyright strike and how easy it is for YouTube to have their system be bypassed like that. Like I said, I feel grateful. I feel grateful and thank you all. Thank you all again because couple days after it didn't get taken down right away but my strike got removed a couple days later so youtube acted fast i think that what it happens is that they have bots because there's so much going on on youtube every single day every single second so i think when this individual did this and just had like a few fake things to pass through the youtube copyright system it went through because it looked legit and then when david tried to counteract that claim they were like, you need more evidence to support your claim, which is ridiculous. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video and I wanted to thank you all again because I was stressed out because I never got a strike in over 10 years of doing YouTube. It felt really good to help out David and also to get everybody's strikes removed, but there is no way I could have done this without you all. So thank you all. And this was good. This was cool. And I really appreciate you all. More great content coming soon. I'm in a great mood. Um, I'm about to actually record something else for you all right now, so yeah, let's get it.